My name is Pasquale Santoro. I'm born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I enjoy gardening, outdoor activities, and life. My urologist was concerned with my rising PSA levels, which every time I would go for a PSA test, they just kept going up. So he had recommended one urologist. We did a biopsy and he really wasn't happy with the results and the decision that came back from that urologist. So he recommended Dr. Silver. So when I first met Mr. Santoro, he had already had a diagnosis of prostate cancer. He actually already gotten through the scary part and he had already made peace with the diagnosis. So then the next step was to decide, well, how extensive is this problem? Is it likely to be a problem within your foreseeable lifetime? And if it is, what can we do to interrupt that history? Dr. Silver went over all the options that were available and there were a lot of options. And then about four weeks down, I said, Haifu is sounding much, much better to me because quality of life was on the top of my list each time. High intensity focused ultrasound is actually not a new technology. It's been around for many, many years. The first generation of the technology really was designed to treat the entire prostate. And it turns out that it's a very good treatment. But like any whole gland treatment, it's got virtually the same side effects problems with the area control, and issues with the sexual function and intimacy. The current second generation, which is the technology that we have, and we are the first institution on the East Coast of the United States to have this, the second in the country, was really focused on the idea that we would treat only a portion of the prostate and leave the rest of it alone. And that reduces the risk of having problems with the urinary control by treating less towards the apex of the prostate where the muscles that hold the urine and are located. And it reduces the possibility of problems with the sexual function since you control very tightly where the damage to the prostate is going to be. And it reduces the risk of involving the nerves and blood vessels that supply the penis uh, to cause erections and, and uh, affect intimacy. The procedure is entirely outpatient. I went in Friday morning and I was home by noon. Since the procedure, the best thing is that my life continues to be the same. I enjoy it. I still can do all the things I did before. And yes, there's follow-up, but again, it's a lot better than it could be.